Today, Logic Pro has been updated for the Mac and iPad. We now get Logic Pro 11.1 for the Mac and Logic Pro 2.1 for the iPad. Here are some of my favorite notable features in no particular order. On both Logic Pro for Mac and Logic Pro for iPad, we can now reorder channel strips in the mixer. Finally, when you reorder channel strips assigned to tracks, the corresponding tracks are reordered in the tracks area. Next up, we get a pair of highly requested features from the Logic Pro community. One for the Logic Pro for Mac and one for Logic Pro for iPad. Let's start off with the one for Mac. Come closer. This one's good. We can now finally search for plugins. To do this, just open up the plugin as you normally would, type in the plugin name that you want or the company name and it will come up. So let's say we just want a reverb loaded up. Here are all my reverbs. I can go ahead and load up a reverb. And if your session is organized, you can even search for inputs. You can search for buses. You can search for outputs. Just search everywhere now in Logic Pro 11.1, a huge, feature update that has been requested for many, many, many years. And also for a pro tip, if you have a new track loaded up, if you hold down the shortcut control command P, you can open up the search and add plugin window, and then you can go ahead and type in the instrument you want to put in. So in this case, let's put in contact eight. And then I can go ahead and go control command P and add in an effect on that plugin chain. And there it is right over there. I've actually been using the control command P shortcut quite a bit. When I went back to the previous version of Logic, I went to go use that shortcut and obviously it's not there. It sort of hindered my workflow a little bit, even though I only used it for like a day, it's a game changer. And speaking of adding plugins, we can also now remove plugins really easily. If you go over to your plugin that you wanna remove, hold down the command key and now you'll get this eraser icon and it will remove a plugin. This also works on buses as well. Very easy way to remove tracks without going into those menus. On Logic Pro for iPad, we now finally have the ability to load up our sounds within Logic's browser. So here is the browser over here. You'll get this new table over here that says add sample folders. You click that. You could choose the folder of the samples you want to bring into Logic. So right here on my iCloud, I have my 2023 drum kit. I'm gonna click open. And just like that, we loaded it into Logic Pro for iPad and all of our sounds are there. And we can go ahead and do everything we normally do in this browser. So now no longer do we have to use slide over. We could just add in all of our samples this way. And what's also really cool is this nesting feature right here. See this icon on the top right? If I click that, it's gonna open up all the folders hierarchy and give me all the samples in one nice list, which is really, really nice. Also new in Logic Pro for iPad, we can now reorder plugin tiles directly in the plugins area, simply by dragging them in addition to using the edit mode. Now this wouldn't be a single dot update if we didn't get something substantial, like a new plugin. So with that said, I'd like to introduce you to the Quantec Room Simulator. This distinct reverb plugin uses a unique algorithmic reverb technology to replicate how sound waves behave in different acoustic environments. So instead of using echoes and reflection to give you that reverb sound, this emulates the acoustic resonances that naturally occur in a room. And it sounds incredible. It sounds so rich and full. You really gotta try this thing out. We get both the classic QRS and the yardstick models. It's a direct copy of the hardware. And what's funny about it, you also get the same program names as well, which is like hyper, hyper descriptive. If you go to like QRS classic ones, let's go to the, um, I like this one right here. The living room unfurnished, living room furnished, living room furnished, curtains closed. And on the iPad version, if you click the Quantec logo in the top left-hand corner of the plugin, you can learn about the history of this plugin, in which I highly recommend you take the time to read. On both Logic Pro for Mac and iPad, we now have a bounce in place dialogue window. Now this is actually really interesting because you can actually take multiple tracks, bounce multiple tracks to its own tracks, which actually is really helpful rather than the previous way where you just take a group of tracks and bounce it to one stereo file. We can select our destination, the source, and if we want to normalize the audio as well, similar to when we bounce out audio. But if you just leave it on one file, it's gonna operate the same way as you normally expect bounce in place to work. But if you wanna take multiple tracks and stem it out to different tracks, then all you gotta do is one file per track, or you can even take it a step further and go one file per region. It's actually a really nice workflow thing that is added to the bounce in place function that I use all the time. Now on Logic Pro for Mac, we can share our songs to voice memos. If you're familiar with the new update that is coming to voice memos, you can now record or overdub audio straight in the voice memos app. But that right now I believe is only available to the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. We also get two new sound packs, Modular Melodies and Pom Pom are available to download from the sound library both on Logic Pro for Mac and Logic Pro for iPad, so be sure to get those. And also just as a reminder, you can check out the Lessed browser on Logic Pro for iPad to learn everything that is new, including 
everything you need to know about the new QRS Reverb plugin. So those are my top build features from the brand new update for Logic Pro for Mac 11.1 and Logic Pro for iPad 2.1. If you do have any questions on this or just want to talk about the new Logic Pro updates, let's chat down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.